TK, Tim Kading back again at the 360 Knoxville Nationals. You've been racing here a few times this year, not that much, but what's it feel like to be back at Knoxville? Uh, it feels awesome. You know, Dave and Jamie Lunch just gave us an uh, opportunity to come back here and race for uh, 360 Nationals. We're going to team up with Jason Sides for 410 Nationals, but, um, you know, we uh, really didn't have a 360 coming in here this weekend. Uh, Willie Croft lent us a motor for the night, so uh, we're going to see what happens. We're on the front row. Last year we were on the back row, so hopefully we can uh, capitalize being up here and have some fun and uh, see what we can do. And you're on the front row for qualifying. What's it mean to be on the front row and go out there semi-early in qualifying? Um, I don't know. I think we might be right in the middle when the track starts transitioning a little bit. Um, you know, so it, it'll. we'll just have to see what it does, you know. I mean, the track slowed down quite a bit last night towards the end of qualifying, I think, you know, watching it. And, uh, you know, if we can just get off one good lap, that's going to be the awesome part. You know, you get, you get yourself halfway decently qualified, um, run the living daylights out of these things in the heat race, make some transfers, and... Um, see what happens. Hopefully we make the main event. There's a lot of good cars here tonight, um, a lot of local guys that have run here good, um, and a lot of ASCS guys, you know, national guys. So, um, you know, I've been running 360 stuff back home, but when you run on a quarter mile, it's a lot different than a half mile. And then as you said, a quarter mile back home, you're running here at the big half mile. What's it mean for the driver when you get into the racing situations? How do you have to react differently as opposed to the smaller quarter miles? Um, you know, th there's not much once you get into lap traffic. You still have to judge traffic the way um, it, you're able to. But, uh, you know, being back home on the quarter mile stuff, you get into traffic in two or three laps. You know, out here you get, you know, a few more laps by yourself spread out. Um, you know, the biggest thing it's, is me getting my timing back. Um, and getting used to the arrow again, you know, the, the air is really bad behind cars nowadays. So, you know, hopefully we can get to that point, get past that point and just stand on the gas and run around here wide open like we can. And then lastly, what do you as the driver have to do to put yourself in the best possible position for Saturday night? Drink as much as I can. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, you got to qualify good. You got to get through your heat race and, you know, run top 10 in the main event. You know, that's the biggest thing. I think qualifying plays uh, dividends and everything in this, you know, between 360 and 410 Nationals. So, you know, if you can just get that one lap in and, and go out and cruise around, um, you know, and get yourself in, in position to make it into Saturday's main event, that's the biggest thing is just finishing good all night long. Well, thank you very much, Tim, and best of luck tonight. No problem. Thank you.